and welcome back to Vampopolis. This is episode 16, folks. Now, uh, you may not have noticed, but these videos for Vampopolis have been pretty erotic the past few weeks. Um, I normally try to get two videos out per week, however, lately my schedule just, <coughs> excuse me, has not been allowing it. So, I'm trying to still get two videos a week in, but most likely, again, this week, it's just going to be today's video, which I think probably will be uploaded on uh, Sunday night, which is when I'm recording it, but it, you'll probably see it Monday morning. Um, so yeah, that's just about the schedule stuff. Anyways, let's get to the video. Uh, this is also the first voiceover episode I've been doing sometime. You could also see that <coughs> in the beginning. There was like a proper intro with some cinematics for this city. Uh, I think I'm gonna start doing that. It just looks pretty good for everything. So yeah, that's what's gonna be happening in the future. There's also gonna be some cinematics at the end of the video of what we actually built today, which as you probably see on the title, is a liberal arts college, or it may just say a college, but it's it's a pretty good looking school. Anyway, on top of the hill. Anyways, get on to the video, yes, yes. Um, right now, I'm just building like this new freeway <clears throat> that is just gonna go around like the waterfront area of this area. I know I don't really wanna have a lot of freeways in the city, but this one, I just really, thought it would be a good place to have it. I do want one, at least one waterfront freeway, just to make it seem a little more, you know, realistic, since that's what a lot of cities have. Plus, like, I don't want to have to really decorate every single city, because, well, that's quite a lot of work. Anyways, right now I'm just constructing the freeway using the network multi-tool. I just cloned the freeway, and then I, of course, um, I'm leveling out the crossings and stuff. They're not the crossings, but like these places where it goes up, where like the road goes up and down. And then I have, you know, I have to like change the direction, of course. All right. And then one idea that I had <clears throat> was that I would turn the, this freeway would end, like this side of the freeway would end over here. It's gonna stretch a little more to probably the other side of the city on the other direction but for now it's just going to turn into like this um waterfront arterial i had an idea that it would go all around the waterfront all the way to the tourism district that i built a few episodes back you know with the waterfront the beach and the trams and stuff yeah so it would lead over there but not that's not something I'm just going to work on in this episode. And now, I have to just build a small interchange because at the moment, I didn't really have a way for the people to get from the actual city to the new liberal arts college slash park slash uh, probably some high-end residential up on the top of the mountain. So right now, basically, you just actually have to go through the freeway. We'll get on the freeway, I mean, to be able to get there. But that, of course, is going to change. Of course, I'm just building this small interchange. It's been a while since I've actually manually built an interchange other than diamond interchanges because that's basically all I've been using in the city along with some partial clover leaves. But like, and the key thing about those is that they all have uh, like road going down the middle of it. But this one, uh, like the whole thing was all the roads were going to just one road on the other side. It's a little hard to explain, you you probably know what I'm talking about, but yeah, basically. So, and it's been a while since I built one of these, and I initially forgot that you had to like cross the roads, so I made a pretty big mistake there. Anyways, just trying to make this uh, area a little nicer, removing some nodes and stuff, node controller of course, and then now I'm just going to bring this um, avenue over up to here. This is going to be like the really high end like university schools and stuff. We're gonna probably have some museums and stuff um, where you're gonna be able to like, the really, the really rich people are gonna be able to sleep and live. It's gonna be a nice view, a really nice view, of course. Um, I'm thinking about adding possibly a zoo around, but that's, that's just all not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. 
Um, as you can see, I'm just plopping down some buildings, seeing where they might look good. This is all gonna change, by the way, at the end of the episode. And also, I'm trying to figure out this weird bug where the paths are elevated to the ground, but the university itself isn't. And for some reason, I couldn't lower the paths, even using the Touch It tool mod, which usually would allow me to do so. I'm getting really frustrated not understanding how to do this, even with a lot of movement work. And I figure out, I can just level the train, and then it should fix it. And that's what I did. Just like that. And I'm getting back onto the prop line tool. Well, not back onto it, but... And then there's another problem. This is a hill, which I like, and I initially thought I'd be able to handle. But then, all these buildings just are looking so terrible. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I can make the road flat for this part, and then just have that part be flat, try to lower the cliff, reduce the amount of cliffs, and I do it with the gymnasium, raising the pass and stuff. I'm just thinking, well, this time it's going, I'm just thinking, this is not working at all. I'm just thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with this whole area, because, well, originally I didn't think I could flatten. And then I'm trying, okay, maybe I can cover up the surf, like the hillsides, rocks but no the rocks are just looking terrible and I try to lower them into the ground so that just the surface is poking out <clears throat> that's just completely not working it's completely moving the train and I'm just thinking fine I'll just flatten everything and that's basically what I did and I actually really like the way this turned out with this one like major road for the access of the college just going up through the cliffs and stuff and I'm just fixing all the roads all the roads up to a level uh, fixing the pass, we trying to, and yep, there we go, just like that, delete the part in the road. Now I just gotta replace most of the buildings, and then I accidentally placed that little off-center. And there's this still weird bug again with the stupid um, pass of this building. I don't really know how to fix it, so I'm just gonna forget about it for now. And moving around the buildings, making it all flat and stuff. I was thinking about adding a park, but the park's just too damn big. So I thought, oh, fine, I'll just grab a city park. And then I still wanted some more uh, stuff to put in that area, but I realized it's just not gonna be possible because there's it can't touch the road, basically. So I add these paths and then I'm just feeling fine. I'll just decorated with some random trees and stuff. So I had a whole bunch of different trees, uh, of course. And then now, just putting in some dormitories. Um, now I saw a really cool, I can't, I actually, for some reason, I can't remember where I saw this, but he had like a, this guy, I think it was a video, or maybe it was a picture, but like, he had pass going into the doors of a dormitory, and it just really looked good. So, well, I had to try and do that. Though I couldn't get it to actually look like it would go into the dormitory. I know there's a way to remove like the surface areas on like the surfaces for the buildings, but I just didn't bother with that. It looks good enough, I think. So I copied it with the move it mod and just moved it onto over that side, all right? And I'm just placing some study hall buildings, adding some trees. Just trying to make it look fancy and realistic. Now I'm just adding some parking, because, well, you know, parking is pretty important for a university campus. We just gotta make it look like there's not enough, because, well, then it's a little realistic, you know. I'm right, just adding some parking. I'm gonna clone it over to the other side of the university. And that's it, folks. This is basically today's episode. I know it's a little short but a lot, a lot, a lot of time went into this. It's really sped up, and I think I'm gonna start making videos like this. More with like, more cinematics and stuff. More work for shorter videos. I think it's really good, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.